Hello everyone and welcome back. It is the Striker Career Mode today. Um, we're actually getting very near the end of the season now. We're currently in 7th, one spot off of a uh, playoff position. 3 points behind Cardiff, 3 points behind Stoke. So potentially we can still get in the playoffs. I mean that would be really overachieving um, and a real good season if we can. But anyway, we've got a difficult game against West Brom away to start with. So six games left of the season. I'll probably split it into two episodes for each episode, I would think. But let's get into this game against West Brom. Come on. Right, here we are then. We're in the very last stages of our first ever season as a professional footballer. As a striker for Hull City. I mean, this will probably be our last six games with Hull before we move on. I think we should be able to move to like a, a semi-decent top division club we definitely won't be going to um, I think any of the top six because we are 74 rated we might potentially be 76 77 by the end of the season we just we'll probably be about a season off playing for a top club Krasicki Pereira Robinson Pereira oh Ingram what a save I was just about to say we're one nil down but look at this. I backed him to score from there, but good save, Ingram. Livermore lays it in. Shoots! And again, they almost score. Madison into Honeyman. Who actually goes for goal! Oh my god! It's in! Oh! What has just happened? Honeyman. What? What a weird goal that was. Oh my. I actually can't believe that. The keeper had it stuck between his legs. Look, he just shot from the throw in. And what a finish. And then the keeper has it stuck in his legs. And it just trickles into the goal. <laughs> the defender tries to clear it. It comes off the keeper's hill. And ends up in the back of the net. We were running in ready to steal it. So it's a Nathan Ferguson own goal. But wow, that was weird. So here we go. If it gets thrown into Hun Honeyman, a fair play to him. Audacious attempt. The keeper does an alright save, to be honest, to push it onto the bar. And then it gets stuck in his legs. It's still not over the line at this point. The defender tries to clear it, comes off the keeper's heel and just trickles in. <laughs> We're 1 0 up. Happy days. Here's the silver. Good. Irvine into us. We're going to hit this. A shot! Oh, it's gone wide. Sergio, you didn't connect very well with that. Dragged it. There we go. Go on, and again. Honeyman's put us in. We're running out of legs a little bit. Oh, the defender dived in. We're going to cross to the back post. Wilkes! Oh, no. He's headed it into the side netting. He should have buried it. We've done really well to get in that position, put a good ball in, and Wilkes, I thought he was going to score. Half time, 1 0 up, just that strange goal um, that gives us the lead. It'll be a great win if we can beat West Brom here. Pereira, got a lot of space here. Crosses, Robinson scores, it's 1 0. You can see that was dangerous as soon as Pereira had that much space. He put in an unbelievable ball, to be fair to him as well. Good header from Robinson. It's a great header. He just gets in front of that defender. Keeper has no chance. Right, one all now. Nice. Honeyman gives it to us. Give it back to him. Lays it back to us. We're going to shoot! Oh, I tell you what, that's one of the best struck shots, just straight at the keeper. We hit this really well. Yeah, just straight down his throat. He can pat that one away. Kane. Kane lays it back to us. Oh, we sent that defender for a hot dog. We're going to shoot. Oh, again, good effort. Too close to the keeper. We struck this well again. Just... Yeah, not in the corners. Full time then and a one-all draw. To be honest, before the game, a uh, draw against West Brom will take it. I think they're first or second in the league at the moment. So, not a bad result at all. Today's game's against Bristol City. It is away. 
Um, and as you can see, we've actually uh, marked our 40 appearances of the season, 17 goals, 13 assists. So 40 games played, 30 goal involvements. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's get into this game against Bristol City. I think we really need to win now, or at least win our next couple of games in order to get a playoff spot. The gap's increased to five points. All right, it's time for Sergio to score, I think. Honeyman. Nice. Irvine, put me in. He has. I'm going to shoot first time. Oh, what a finish. Sergio, what a goal. That's one of the best in his career. He's looped it into that far corner on the first time shot. Wow. That's a brilliant goal, that. Irvine, good pass in here. I thought it might be going a little bit too wide, though, so I had to hit it quick. And what a great finish this is. This is a good angle to see it from. It's always curling back towards the goal. The keeper can't quite reach it. What a goal. How many is that in the championship? 17 in the championship. There we go. Half time. We are 1-0 up. It would be a really important three points if we can win this game. Just find our feet. We'll keep the ball. There we go. Into Irvine. Nice. Shoots. Oh, that's horrible. He wasn't really set for the shot. Irvine out to Wilkes. Wilkes heads it in to us. We're going to lay it back to Wilkes. Shoot! Oh, what a block. Oh, two goals with five minutes to go. That would have been game over, I think. Oh, no. A Bubaka out on the wing. I'm trying to work back to defend this. Oh, good clearance. Still there, Abu Bakker. Lays it inside. Palmer. Oh, Ingram with the save. Oh, just a couple minutes to go. Hopefully we can hold on to this lead. That was a great effort. And a brilliant save. Look at that. That was definitely going in. And we've been taken off. We'll simulate the rest. What? We got taken off in the 86th minute, I believe. We end up losing the game 2-1. Oh, that's a joke. I honestly cannot believe that. Right, so as it stands, with two games to go, we are four points off of Cardiff. We basically have to win both games and hope that Cardiff don't win one of the games. Let's get into this home game against Luton. Three points, nothing less. Here we go then, what could be one of our last ever games for Hull City. Two games of the season left. We need a win. Luar Luar scores. And I have to say, that's probably down to poor defending. The cross wasn't a great one. It looked like our defender was going to get there. He missed the ball. Look, we'll see it here. There, it looked like he went to head it and missed it. And then Luar Luar, easy goal. Oh, God, that could be our chance of a playoff spot over. Half time, 1 0 down. We've really struggled this game, just going forward every time the ball comes to me or one of the players behind me, we just lose the ball. We just can't seem to get a chance on goal at the moment. Oh, Bolton, what a pass. Luar Luar shoots. Oh, he missed. Good save, Ingram. He waited so long. If he just was quicker, he could have either squared it or got a better shot away. He's put a ball in. Oh, no. That was a great ball. The keeper done really well to come out quick. Irvine, out wide. Yes, Madison, he's found us. We've had it. Oh. I tell you what, if Wilkes had just followed that in, he could have tapped that in at far post. It's not what I was intending. It was obviously a shot, but just didn't get the connection on it. There we go, full time, a 1-0 loss to Luton, and that's pretty much, well it is, our chances of a playoff spot over. Which is a shame, but I think when we joined Hull City, the goal this season was just to stay up and maybe push a little bit up the table to mid-table if we have a real good season. We've definitely done better than that, almost got ourselves into a playoff spot. As you can see from the table on the bottom right, there's nothing we can actually do in order to catch the playoff position so I'm going to skip past this last game and then we'll have a look at the season stats um, and the final standings. 
So the season is officially over. That is our first season as a professional. And wow. Three teams over 100 points. Fulham 112 points winning the league. Nottingham Forest 110 coming second. And West Brom, Stoke, Brentford and Cardiff all in the playoff spots. Then it was Leeds, then us. We did end up actually coming 10 points behind Cardiff. So in the end it was quite a way. But we looked like up until the last couple of games we had a good chance. Going down then QPR, Barnsley and Luton. I think they were always quite far behind anyone else. So they will be relegated. Right in terms of the players stats here. We look at the goal chart for the championship. Grzycki of West Brom 24 goals. Uh, where are we? I believe we should be on there somewhere. We are actually ninth in the league on 17 goals. Joint on the same amount of goals as Wayne Rooney of Derby. <laughs> Um, I think we had a good season. I mean, for a 16-year-old to come in and get 17 goals, I'm very happy with that. Assists, we're actually on there as well. We've got nine assists, as you can see, in ninth place again. Irvine's on there with 10 assists. Harris of Sheffield Wednesday wins it with 13. And then clean sheets, our keeper's 11th long there with nine. But Fulham's Rodak with 18 Yellow cards, we're on there. <laughs> we're 11th with six yellow cards. And red cards, we topped the chart with two red cards. Probably mm, the last two, probably not too proud of. But the goals and the assists, it was a good season. Anyway, when I come back next episode, I think I'll be at a new club. So let me know in the comments if there's any clubs that you think uh, Sergio should go to. Obviously, I don't think we'll be able to go to any of like, the top six clubs or top clubs around the world at the moment. But maybe like a mid-table or lower league, um, lower bottom half uh, Premier League side or uh, maybe even another league across Europe. But let me know in the comments. I'll be back next time. Please do like and subscribe if you enjoy. I've been a TSG. Goodbye.